it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night end. So here he is, one of the consensus greatest of all time, the newly minted UFC heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones. And I think by and large, this sport is better when he is in it. Tonight, he tries to successfully defend his UFC heavyweight title. Yeah, John Jones at heavyweight is something that we have waited for for a really long time. And to say that he delivered would be a massive understatement as he won the fight in the way that he did. John Jones, once again, building on such a strong legacy. Few guys relish fight night as much as John Jones. You see him grinning ear to ear as soon as he hits the tunnel. We'll see how it goes in title defense number one. John Jones, one of the greatest of all time has stepped inside the octagon once again. Johnny Bones is ready to fight. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Black Mamba. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones Jones! Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for fight. this one. Ready. So here's the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Jones. In nearly every fight, he's going to have a massive reach advantage. So we'll see what he chooses to do here in the early going. If he leans on the grappling or the wrestling. But that reach is a very powerful thing in modern-day mixed martial arts. It's one thing to have a reach advantage. It's another thing to use it as masterfully as John Jones has done in the past. You can't take too many of those big elbows. Trying to establish the jab early on here. You gotta fight back. He's got the single collar tie. All right now, a little separation between the two fighters. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's gonna be the last man standing. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds to. No feeling out process at all. From the moment this fight started, these two gentlemen are ready to knock each other's head off. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, nice knee. Those knees. What a kick. That one landed. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. 
He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long range weapons are John Jones's calling card. Look, Lance. The takedown defense holds up. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter, and I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though, DC. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Nice, nicely done. Oh, oh, beautiful job to snap his head back with that counter strike. So he's landed several of his patented counters here in this round, really doing an excellent job, not just with his offensive timing, but with his defensive skills as well. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown? Defense? connection there by John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight, DC. And you have to have because the target's always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems desperate to keep that title right around the place. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Making all these shots count. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Jones has got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Oh, big shots from the top. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Jones is back inside control. Big ground and pound. Jones has got him in a crucifix now. Going to go to work from the top. North-south position. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Oh, he's in trouble. You got to be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He was able to withstand the fire. Now he finds himself out and safe. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defenseman. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Beautiful transition. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Jones is back in full guard now. Lands with the ground and pound here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Right. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, that horn marks the end of the round. There was a lot to like, really, on both sides, but particularly that Superman punch, an absolute thing of beauty. Beautiful attack. Her ability to let loose in the octagon is truly a sight to behold. Not many people are willing to try something so risky. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round number one. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect him. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler 
this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then... Oh, oh he's trying to pin that arm in the triangle now. Oh, it's tight. Arm triangle getting very close. He's got to clear that guard, though, if he wants to fight finish. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get so. Jones has lowered John now, starting to show signs of swelling. Looks, he switches to southpaw now. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in shape. I mean, blood in the water, you gotta go get You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches and bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Oh, Superman punch. Oh, the head kick lands. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Good stick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Jones is now dealing with a cheek cut. Oh, the takedown attempt starting to pile up. Here's another one. Unable to secure. Huge block there. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, nice. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, man, the counters on point all night. There's the overhand left. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. That one snuck in. Nice strike. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. All right, so another nice strike to the thigh. Some bruising starting to develop, and that could render his opponent a one-legged fighter here down the line. And it'll take some time. It'll take some time when you land it there. But trust me, when you can dead that leg with those leg kicks, you can really start to see your opponent having difficulties moving. Right now, we're at step one. Seconds winding down in round two. Distance gets the single collar tie. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? Ready, fight? Ready. 
All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. All right, so a wise decision by him to continue to attack that cut. And it's getting... Oh, oh we're getting to finish here. Great defense on this play there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Straight punch lands. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking play. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor. Jim. The swelling started to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent. He got him hurt. He got him swollen a little bit, and now it's starting to pay dividends. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. He doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. Right back. In this instance, right back. it certainly did. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, right into Mount. Lands the grounded pound strike here. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Mm, that was nice. All right, north-south position. Now we'll see who transitions first. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. And that's very important. Lands another strike upstairs. And for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swing. He can't miss it. And when you saw the swing initially, you knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that. And while it's getting worse, it's still not at a point where we should panic. But a few more, and he's going to find himself in a dire situation. Jones's nose is just donating blood by the second here. I'm not so sure that nose isn't broken, DC. Spinning back fist. Less than two minutes to go in round three. Real quick leg kick. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm going to take one to give him. Great takedown defense right now by the champ. It's hard to think about a fight in his career in which he has absorbed this amount of damage. His face is essentially shut. Unrecognizable. He's unrecognizable. That is as, that is as close to the term that I can say. This guy does not look like the guy that walked into the octagon early. He made a lot of mistakes early, and they're ultimately costing him right now as we've gotten longer in the fight. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And now some separation. Hurt so bad. He's got to find safety. Find a way to try to run. Oh! Back to the feet. And just misses with that big right hand. Well, we know you fans out there generally don't like premature stoppages, but I'm not sure this would be. Oh! Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Look at him, he stops and he will! Oh my goodness! Take a bow, young man. 
So how about that as he pounds him out for the TKO, prioritized the finish tonight, absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are going to have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. All right, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 38 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Black Mamba. All right, so we got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star in a massive draw for the UFC.